In this video, we're going to go through a quick overview of the Ronin 2. Our goal today is to do a quick setup of the Ronin and mount our camera so you can get familiar with all the moving parts. For ease of illustration, we are showing a base camera mounted with cables and accessories. We first set up the Ronin 2 grip by folding out the feet at the bottom part of the grip by pressing on the buttons. Attaching and screwing in the top part of the grip. And now, let's slide the gimbal in by using the Ronin Dovetail Quick Release System. Wait for the click and tighten the locking latch. Before we attach our camera, let's go through the locks for each axis. Let's begin with the pan lock. Unlock this to free the pan axis. The lock on the cage is for the tilt axis. Unlock to free movement of the cage. And the one in the rear is for the roll axis. The U-frame should roll. Now let's attach our camera. First, make sure all the axes, pan, tilt, and roll, are locked. Make sure there's enough space under the top camera lockdown bar, and with the dovetail plate and top crossbar attached, slide the camera onto the gimbal and perform a rough balance. Let's lock the camera temporarily by tightening down the top bar and dovetail plate lock. Let's briefly go over the locking levers and adjustment knobs. For the tilt axis, we have the locking levers tilt lock, tick marks for precise alignment, and adjustment knobs for balance adjustment. For the roll axis, we have the roll lock here by the rear motor and the locking lever at the bottom below the camera dovetail lock lever. We also have the top lock down screw and the bottom roll adjustment knob. Let's lock everything back down. The Ronin uses a hot swappable dual battery system that powers the Ronin and the RED with accessories for up to 2.5 hours. In addition, there are P-TAP ports, DC outs, and power cables designed for RED and Alexa Mini. A built-in 6-pin port is designed to power the camera, and SDI ports are designed so there are minimal external cables. Connector ports on the power hub also carry CAN bus signal. For transportation mode, you can lock the three axes for display or transportation. There's a second lock point on tilt and roll which allows you to lock the gimbal into a flat profile for easy transport. 